Matt here with Mobile Solar Consulting. Today, we're gonna to take a look at Victron's new Orion XS. Specifically, I wanna show you what information you're gonna be able to see on the Victron Touch 70. Firstly, let's compare this new Orion XS with its closest competitor, the 121230 non-isolated. Now, this is a 30 amp charger that's much larger. So that's the first difference is we've got a much smaller profile. The next difference is it's gonna run a lot cooler, generate less heat, so therefore be more efficient. And the third difference is it's got a VE direct port. So you can run a communications cable to your Serbo GX and view some information on the touchscreen as well as your VRM portal. So we wanna see what info we can view today. So I've removed my remote jumper. I've connected the Orion to the engine starting battery, ground, and the lithium battery. I've connected the VE Direct cable. I've also programmed the Orion settings in my Victron Connect app on my cell phone. Now I'm ready to insert the jumper so it can start charging the battery. As you can see, nothing is jumping out at us on the screen. There's an AC input, AC loads, battery section. And if we had a charge controller, here would appear the PV section, but there's no alternator section on the home screen. So that is a little disappointing. And as we scroll through, we, we still don't see you know, anything here that's obviously telling us that the Orion is charging. We do see it, however, in the device list. We can see how fast it's charging, the amperage and voltage. But it's a little disappointing if this was all you could see. Thankfully, it's not. We're going to enable the beta release firmware on the touchscreen. So you can do that in the settings menu, then go to firmware, and then go to online updates. Click on update feed and switch to beta release. Now we're gonna check for new firmware and go ahead and update it to the beta firmware. Lastly, we're gonna go to display and language. And on the bottom here where it says on screen we're gonna switch that to the GUI V2 version. So as soon as that's finished loading, you'll see the brief page. This is your new home screen. You can see the alternator symbol and the amount of production. If we had a battery monitor, you'd show the percentage right here. And if you go to the overview screen, this is the layout I've been wanting. So we can see you know, alternator production and lines showing that it's flowing energy is going from the alternator into the battery and we can click on the alternator for a bit more detailed info. We can even go ahead and turn the charger off and shut it down. Rename our device and other things like that in here. And overall, this is exactly what I've been looking for. So I hope this helped you. Uh, now you know how to enable the beta version on your touchscreen, and then that'll enable you to see the info coming from your Orion. If you're looking to add alternator charging to your vehicle, we can take care of that for you at our shop in Jupiter, Florida. These are also for sale on our website with free shipping. All purchases come with technical support for life. We also sell units that have been cosmetically damaged during shipping or are gently used. So if you're looking to pick one up at a discount, give us a call.